What's up everybody, Tom Pellicero here with Phil Mackey at the 1500 ESPN Studios. Phil, the Twins go into the All-Star break in third place in the American League Central, which for so much of the first half, I, didn't, I don't think that anybody really even considered a possibility. So we're going to do a little true and false here, go through some of the issues in the first half. You tell me if it's true or false. You ready? Got it. You, you sure you can handle this? Um, true or false? Let's do it. <laughs> first one, true or false, the first half is a disappointment for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, true, and especially based off what they did in April. They were 10 games over five hundred. Two and a half weeks into the season, at the end of May, they were 11 games over 500. And so from going to that level where we saw them clicking on all cylinders in April, then sort of weathering the storm in May and then falling off the planet in June and some of the issues that have popped up with injuries and with the plotting base running and the defense has fallen off, it's definitely a disappointment so far. True or false, the Twins will not make the playoffs with their current starting rotation? Um... I, this is going to sound so homerish, I think that's false, and here's why. The Twins right now, there's so many guys in, in the starting rotation, at least three of those guys, Baker, Slowey, Blackburn, could not be worse, and they will not get worse. They'll only get better. So I know it sounds disastrous to say that because Blackburn is maybe the worst pitcher in baseball right now, but I think if you left this team as it is, I still think they win the division, but there's no way they go deep in the playoffs. True or false, playing off of that one, Nick Blackburn will be in the starting rotation as of August 1st. Well, he's going to be in the rotation next week. That's he met three with, starts, basically, four starts. He met with Anderson and Gardenhire. I think the only way he's not, well, if he gets rocked next weekend against the White Sox, they have to look at then he will be pulled for Dunsing. Right. But that doesn't mean he won't be back in the rotation later in the month. So I'll say he will be in the rotation going into August. True or false, the single biggest disappointment on this team is Joe Maurer. Uh, true. Because Maurer hit 28 home runs, batted 340 with, what, a 440 on base last year. Was one of the better hitters, maybe the best hitter in the entire league, not named Albert Pujols last year. You thought you were going to get something close to that. And you've gotten the 2005 version of Joe Maurer, hitting below 300, not getting on base nearly as often, not hitting for any power, especially at target field. So, yeah, if Maurer starts clicking, the offense, I think, is already going to be okay in the second half. It's the pitching that needs to be fixed more. But if Maurer starts clicking again then uh, the Twins should be okay. True or false, the Twins are a better team with Michael Kadire at third base and Jim Tomey as the designated hitter. False. The Twins were at their best when Nick Punto was playing third base, and you had Punto, Hardy, Hudson, all healthy, all playing elite defense in the infield. There's only so many mashers you can put out. It's, if, if, if you're going to have Kadire at third and you're going to have Kubel in left or Kubel in right and then Delman in left, all of a sudden at the corners now, three out of your four corners, more can play some defense at first base, you have statues out there, essentially. So the defense needs to help the pitching staff, and they can't do that with Kadair at third base. John Roush had only four blown saves. And we say only, but obviously you'd like that number to be better than that. But true or false, John Roush will remain a reliable, if not dominant, closer in the second half. Uh, false to dominant. He's pitching better now than he has in his entire career. So as a seventh or eighth inning guy, he would be a reliable bridge man to a legitimate closer. I just can't envision him in a one-run game against the White Sox or Tigers in September, and then obviously in October if you're facing the Yankees with A-Rod and Teixeira coming up. I don't trust him, and I don't think he has the stuff to get through the meat of a playoff order and hold a one-run lead, so I'm going to say false. Uh, true or false, we will see Anthony Slama and Kyle Waldrop by the end of July. You'll see one of them for sure. You might even see one of them before July 20th, I think. Ron Mayhe is pitching on borrowed time. And in fact, if, if the Twins didn't have a situation where Dunsing, one of their lefties, might have to move into the rotation, I think the Twins front office are waiting to see if Dunsing goes to the rotation because then they're going to be left with only two lefties in the bullpen with Maharis and Mayhe. If you get rid of Mayhe, if you put Dunsing in the starting rotation, then Maharis is your only lefty in the bullpen. I think that's what they're hung up on right now. Twins in third place at the break. True or false? The White Sox and Tigers are better baseball teams than the Twins. Uh, well, right now they're playing better, so it's true. But if you just look at the rosters and what the upside is, the Twins have the best team in, in the division. And it, it's hard for people to swallow that right now because the Twins are playing so poorly. But I'm still a firm believer of marathon, not a sprint. Let it all play out. Everybody thought the Twins were going to win 100 games in April, and now it's, it's bogged down. But I still think if the Twins start clicking like they can, that's a big if, they still have the best team in the division. A little less than three weeks to the trading deadline, the non-waiver trading deadline. True or false, the Twins will make a significant move 
you can define significant how you want to, but a significant move by the deadline. True, they will. If, if they traded last year for Orlando Cabrera, Carl Pavano, John Roush, and they added Ron Mayhay, um, and, and at the time they were a little bit more strapped for cash, even though they knew they were going to go into a new stadium, there's no excuses to not do something right now, especially because you're in third place. You have to kickstart the team somehow. It's a talented team, and they might just feel like they need some help to get over that hump, so I think they do, but it would have been nice if they could have pulled the trigger on Cliff Lee somehow. They just didn't have the prospects to offer like the Mariners uh, received in Justin Smoke. True or false, and it's early, but if the Twins do not make the playoffs, Ron Gardenhire will be on the hot seat. In another market, he probably would be and maybe should be, but no, there's no chance. A record payroll, the new stadium opening, so much going in the positive way, you don't think there's any way that the Twins would look at it and say, Really, they haven't gotten past. They haven't gotten over that next hump with this team. No, it's surprising. In other markets, in Philadelphia, in New York, in Chicago, Lou Pinella is going to be gone from the Cubs after this season. Yeah, if, if you underachieve in a different market, then for sure you're on the hot seat. But no, Ron Gardenhire is so far down the list on people to blame. At least from the the viewpoint of the front office, there's no chance he's on the hot seat. True or false, we've been doing this video too long. We should probably stop now. Let me throw out one number before we stop the video. <laughs> the Twins are 19-39 and 39 when the offense scores fewer than six runs. When the offense scores six, they're 27-3. and three. Some people might think, well, then they should score six runs as often as possible. I would say find a way to win games with your offense scoring fewer than six runs, and that goes back to putting Nick Punto at third base. Run prevention, folks. And the numbers are Run pretty prevention. remarkable, too, when Blackburn is slowly around the mound. The number of games the Twins win when they actually do give them the proper run support, but they have no chance, essentially, when they don't. Right. And it's funny, because if you went back and put the Piranha team in target field, it would probably play a lot better in target field, because they could hit a lot of triples and run around and cover more ground defensively, but it's going to be tough, because the Twins, the, the double plays aren't going to go away, the slow base running's not going to go away, they're going to have to find a way to win with a different team this year than they're used to the last eight years. He's Phil, I'm Tom, we'll see you.